Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to multiply these binomials together. So we have a binomial, which is a two-term polynomial, multiplied with another binomial, which is a two-term polynomial. And we're going to expand this by multiplying. So we have to use the distributive property, which says that we have to multiply both terms in this set of brackets with both terms in this set of brackets. So we're going to do this using two different methods. The first method, we're going to use um, straight distribution. And then I'm going to do it again using the chart method. So if you prefer the chart method, then skip ahead to uh, later in the video so you can see that chart instead of this method. So we'll start with uh, distribution. So this means that we're going to multiply both terms here with both terms in here. So we're going to start by doing the first two terms, 3x times x. And first, we multiply the coefficients. So this is like 3 times 1, which is 3, and then x times x, which is x squared. Now we're going to multiply the outside terms. So 3x times positive 4. So we do 3 times 4, which is 12, and then we still have that x. Now we're going to multiply the inside two terms, negative 2 times x. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then we have the x on it. And finally, we're going to multiply negative 2, this term here, with the positive 4. So we're multiplying the last two terms together. And negative 2 times positive 4 gives us negative 8. So here we're almost done expanding. We just have those middle two terms that are like terms. So we do have to combine them together before we can be um, finished with this. So the 3x squared stays the same. We have a positive 12x minus 2x. So 12 minus 2 is positive 10 x and then we are left with the minus 8 at the end and now we have um, completely expanded the two binomials using multiplication to get us a trinomial which is a three term polynomial. So that's using the um, regular distri distributive law. Now we're going to do this again using um, the chart method because I know that some people um, need to see it visually. So let's write out the question again, 3x minus 2 times x plus 4. And we will use the chart. So in order to expand this with the chart method, we start off with something that looks like a tic-tac-toe board. And the point of doing this is to create a multiplication chart, in a sense, like you guys are used to using since um, grade school. Now, we take this multiplication chart and we're going to fill in the terms that come from the two binomials. So let's do the first um, binomial on the uh, top row of the multiplication chart. So we're going to write 3x here. And then we have the minus 2. We're going to put it here. Don't drop that negative sign when you do it. Now look at the second binomial that we have. We have an x term, which we'll put here. And then we have a positive 4. So that one's positive, um, so we leave it like that. Okay, so now we filled in the outside of the multiplication chart. So now we're going to go ahead with the multiplication. In this box, we multiply x times 3x, and we get 3x squared. In this box, we multiply 4 with 3x, and we get 12x. In this box, we're going to multiply x with negative 2, and we get negative 2x. And in this box, we multiply 4 with negative 2, and we get negative 8. So when we write out, out our final answer, uh, we have to put all of these four terms together. We start with the x squared term, so we have 3x squared. That's the first one we write down here. Next, we're going to write down the x terms. 
but we can combine these two together because these are like terms. So we're going to do 12x plus the negative 2x. So 12 minus 2 is positive 10x. And then lastly, we have the minus 8, which goes at the end. And so there's our final trinomial um, after we use the chart method for expanding. So you see that our um, two answers from the first method and from the second method are both the same. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.